to parents and them being hopeless, I guess when they get to a place of hopelessness, like what, what next, right? Yeah, well, I, I like to say that hopelessness is not a bad thing to happen to you in the long run. It certainly doesn't feel good, but it can be a wake up call to reach outside your own base of knowledge, your own comfort level and reach out and get help for yourself. So the reason that some people were feeling hopeless and others weren't was simply because of their history. Mm -hmm. So many times of, of hope, getting their hopes up, okay, this time my son will do better. This time my daughter's going to not relapse. And uh, based on their history and the number of disappointments, they were starting to feel hopeless. Yeah. So the answer to that then is, uh, it's not a bad thing to happen to you, but it's a bad thing to stay there. Right. And so this is kind of what led you to starting PATH, essentially. Yes, I, I started to figure that they were learning good stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I had a curriculum for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but what the, the notion that came to me was uh, uh, after, uh, after a weekend training, uh, I would have parents come up and say, other family members too, come up and say, Mike, I've learned so much. This is so great. Thank you. And then I might see that same, those same parents two weeks later two months later, two years later. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, they're not stupid. This is good information. It's proven information through action. Uh, why is this happening? And the answer that came was, they can't change habits that quickly. They need repetition and reinforcement through time, just like alcoholics and addicts do for their meetings. Uh -huh. so the idea came for a specific meeting that's focused on them and their special relationship that parents have with their children.